This video is going to show the idea of using the big book strategy, but instead of in a paper based world, doing it in a digital world. What are big books? Big books are simply the idea of having uh, possibly a construction paper, or as you can see up here in the corner, uh, a shared reading that is done. Uh, and it has a lot of rip repetition and images to support in that shared reading. Many of us who have taken the GLAD trainings know of big books and have worked with it. Some of us have seen different videos and presentations of teachers presenting this. Um, but what I'm sharing is the idea of going from paper world to a digital world with it. So I'm using Google Slides currently. I am not going to show you all the ins and outs of Google Slides, but what I am going to show you is just this idea that you could create and have more of a summary of more complex text. There was a biography that was read in fifth grade, and these fifth grade uh, teachers then presented this biography to students as a follow-up so that they had the option to be able to really get out that this uh, famous woman here, uh, Mae Jemison, had worked really hard. It didn't just happen that she got lucky and went into space as the first uh, astro uh, excuse me, first female African American astronaut. Uh, with that in mind, so the, as you can see on the pages, there's images that support. There's text that expand, but you're noticing the top and the bottom that's bolded is repeating over and over and over. So when the teacher would read aloud this. Uh, text, there's going to be some predictable text for all learners to hear. Now this is good for students at all levels. And simple enough, what you do is have the most important thing as one way to write a big book idea. And then you have a repeating phrase, an intro and a repeating phrase. And then these individual parts here are going to be the additional um, uh, details, the extras, and the images are going to then support. So as you can see here, books are read by the teacher. So the students get the idea that there's a teacher doing the reading. And then there's other imagery that is supporting to help the student out. So this research-based idea does support our ELL students and using Google Slides uh, can help out, all right? So with that in mind, why Google Slides? One, the ability to share it very easily with others is the main idea. You can actually produce this and then share it with others. All right. Having anyone can have that link and in the location to where others access. Two, printing. One of the options when you go to print just before it is page setup. You can change so that the page is actually a different size, such as an 11 by 17 format. So when you'd print it out, it would really be a bigger book. And then it could be put in a location such as our libraries for our schools uh, and such that it's there and available, or it could be put in a room so that students have access to it. Um, a lot of different options there. So again, the idea of the big book strategy is the teacher does the reading doesn't necessarily take and dumb down any material, but it has those repeating phrases there. And then using Google Slides is allowing it to have ease of share as well as some printing options. Consider big books for your classroom and any important information. 